welcome. And thank you for coming to First United Methodist Church's Vesper Concert Series. My name is Sung Won Cho. I'm Director of Traditional Music Ministries and Senior Organist here. Our Vesper Concert Series um, pursues excellence in musical arts and features the world-class musicians and ensembles in the world for four decades. This concert series is made possible by our Friends of Music, whose faithful support year after year continue to make this series possible, and we are eternally grateful for their support. Thank you. Tonight, we present this concert to dedicate our newly built sanctuary pipe organ, Luterno Opus 135. On behalf of FEMC Music Department, we offer profound appreciation to a multitude of donations and support to make this project possible. I am so grateful and blessed to work with our organ committee led by Mr. Danny Johnston and their times for many meetings and discussions. Special thanks to the organ project coordinator, Mr. Keith Bell, who tirelessly worked for days and nights and weeks from the beginning till the end of the installation. And thank you for Lutuna Organ's representative's presence with us. President and owner of the company, Dr. Dudley Oaks, and the vice president and artistic director, Mr. Andrew Forrest. It was truly an honor and privilege to work with Luterno. And as you can tell, they did a magnificent job for us. I am so, so delighted and thrilled to welcome back our former guest artists in residence and organists. And I'm so very grateful for their special trips and presence here to make themselves available for this concert. And we are so excited to have a joyful reunion and get to hear their organ performances. Lastly, I am delighted and honored to have Bishop Nan and our former senior pastor, Dr. Craig Curry, who started and worked the search and installation process. And our current pastor, Dr. Todd Zaswedel, who finished the project and unveiled the new organ. Just a quick heads up for our next Vesper concert series. That's going to be next month, February 19th. That's a Sunday, 5 p.m. Sound session, the saxophone quartet concert is going to be held here. Each year we feature one of the Vesper concerts with the musicians in Lubbock or from Lubbock. And one of the saxophone players, Jacob Nance, is a Lubbock native and grew up in this church. And I look forward to having them. And I love to see all of you back here. After the concert, you are invited to our traditional reception in the parlor. It's world best cookies. Please join us to greet with our guest artists. Um, there is a quick change in the program. Our guest artist, the most recent guest artist, David Warren, has to leave at 5.15 to catch his flight uh, to leave for London. So just after me, Pastor Cheryl will bless, and hymn number 140, Great is Thy Faithfulness, will follow and then rest will be the same. Now, as we begin, Dr. Shara Atkinson will bless our concert. Good evening and welcome. You know, the choir, the musicians, and the organ is integral to the worship that happens in this church. And the Vesper concerts are a very important foundation and a very important part of the outreach that this church does to our community. And so we are so grateful for this organ and for the people who will play it, the people who will sing, the people who will worship with it. But as with every service that happens in this church, we begin always with worshiping the God that we serve. And so we begin with prayer. Will you pray with me? Almighty and gracious Father, Lord, you are indeed the God of all creation, and we are especially grateful this evening 
for the creation of music, of celebration, of community that gathers together to worship and to praise and to celebrate. And so now, Father, we pray that your blessing would fall upon each of us in this room, that your blessing would fall upon this organ, that your blessing would fall upon this service. And Father, that the words of our lips, the meditations of our hearts, and the music that flows forth tonight, all would be to your glory, always for your glory. Amen.
Now, I'd like to introduce the Organ Committee Chairman, Mr. Danny Johnston. Thank you, Dr. Cho, and certainly we want to welcome you here today, and, and thank you for joining us for this dedication of the new Laterno Opus 135 pork, pork pipe organ, including the Gordon McMillan console. Uh, it's a great day at, at First Methodist Church here in Lubbock, and uh, I just we've asked that maybe we could take just a moment to share with you how we got to where we are today. It's been a long process, a very heartwarming process, and we are very, very proud to be able to show this to you today. Again, Danny Johnston, uh, Chairman, I would like uh, to introduce the entire committee. You did hear of a few of those. I'm going to start again with our senior pastor, uh, Craig Curry. A special thanks to Craig for your vision, your support, and your commitment to this project at the start and the beginning that got us to this point today. You also uh, learned of Keith Bell, who was uh, undoubtedly uh, our uh, project coordinator and could not have gotten this project to final without him. Uh, John White, if, if you're one of them, raise, uh, kind of raise your hand and wave at the crowd. John White, uh, Gary Poffenbarger, Mary Cato, Dr. Brian Smitherman, Mary Frances Bauckham, and we also have to mention Dr. Su, uh, Sung Wan Cho for his tireless. My goodness, the guy has more energy than you can imagine. <laughs> Certainly, David Warren, who had slipped out, but uh, David was with us in this process as he was serving as the associate organist. Uh, and then again, Todd Salzweedle, who stepped in when Craig retired and uh, filled those shoes nobly, and uh, we appreciate th those efforts. I do want to take a brief moment to share a little bit of history of the project, as I mentioned. Uh, the Merriman Pipe Organ was 50 years old, served us well, but was performing at a much reduced capacity due to its deteriorating condition. The project to determine the best path to replace the pipe organ took some 10 years and was served by three FUMC music directors for traditional music. And finally, in the spring of 2018, an organ committee was appointed by the trustees and the committee went to work doing research, making visits, interviewing organ companies, and on September 24, 2018, signed a contract with the Laterno Organ Company. Followed by that, construction began the next year. Construction was in May of 2019, and as you might imagine, was certainly interrupted by the COVID epidemic, pandemic, that uh, stalled the project, actually shut the project down on both ends, but was finally completed in early 2021. Luterno Organ Company is one of the world's finest pipe organ companies, and it has been a great experience to partner with them with this project. With us today are two of the Laterno representatives that were mentioned before, and I believe they'll be up here shortly, but we have Dudley Oaks, and certainly uh, we have Andrew Forrest, and uh, we're so happy that you could be with us at this final moment that we dedicate this. Uh, and I want to share with you this project was fully funded and would not have been possible without many generous donations. A special heartfelt thanks to each and every one of the gifts that we received on behalf of the pipe organ, and a very special thanks to our lead major anonymous gift. Uh, obviously, I can't share that with you, but uh, we're so proud that each of those uh, took this project so seriously and brought it to reality. And I also want to thank the choir, the congregation, the members of the Lubbock community for the support, the patience, and the love throughout this entire process. And finally, in October of 2021, we were blessed to have Bishop Earl Bledsoe right here and serve and consecrate the Laterno 135 organ. Ladies and gentlemen, the Laterno Opus 135, four manual, 75 rank, 4,225 pipes, pipe organ. We hope you enjoy this evening's concert.
Thank you, Mr. Johnston. And now I'd like to introduce um, Lutuno Organ Company's representative, Dr. Dudley Oaks and Mr. Andrew Forrest. Good evening. It is an honor to be here in front of you. It is an honor to uh, represent my many colleagues back in Canada who contributed to the construction of this instrument. Um, just at lunch today, we were asked, you know, how does this instrument stack up compared to, you know, the other organs your company has built? Um, and it's really just overwhelming. This morning uh, in church, uh, there were several moments where um, <laughs> I was fighting to contain the emotion. It, 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 the effect of this instrument is just tremendous, and um, I'm just so grateful. We are just so grateful for the opportunity to contribute to the life of this church uh, and to have produced this beautiful instrument for you. Um, and with that said, we have a beautiful evening of music ahead of us. I'm not going to say anything, anything further, but thank you again for this opportunity. The gentleman you've just heard from is actually the unsung hero of all this as well. And what Sung One doesn't know yet is that um, Andrew Forrest, my dear colleague, has recently been um, appointed the president of, pipe or of Laterno Pipe Organs, a richly deserved um, appointment and opportunity for him, and he's doing an amazing job with it. Who really knows what to say on occasion like this? I find I have to really limit myself because my brain is going in so many directions. There have been so many relationships formed here over these last years, and I've fallen in love not only with this place, but with these people. And now we have this amazing organ that's part of your history. We are so privileged to be part of a really amazing music history of this church. I'm not sure how well you all understand what you have, but I can tell you as one who does not live here and who has practiced in the profession for the last 50 years, this place has really got something magic and you're part of it, so good for you. Um, I could tell you lots of facts about our organ building company. It's all on our website. And <laughs> You know, I would so encourage you to go there, but I find on an occasion like this, it's better for me to walk in the door when I know I'm gonna to get to say a word or two and that everybody has already been thanked. So I don't wanna go around the room and thank each person that just got thanked a minute ago. But what I do is reflect on a word or two words that really sort of capsulized my feeling that day. And I have two words that came to me. One is gratitude and one is awesome. Now, if you read the definition um, of awesome, y yes, it's inspiring. It's also a little bit fearful, perhaps. And when I think of the beginnings of this project, it was awesome. We were asking them to rip the basement up. We were asking them to pull the walls out. Uh, I mean, it, you name it, we, we did it to get what you see before you. Um, uh, and now awesome turned into gratitude. We are grateful, grateful, grateful for the support of all the people it took here. Believe me, it takes a town to build an organ. And this church put out and put out and put out again to make this happen. Um, and the relationship that we've now forged is something else for which I'm, I'm grateful. So gratitude runs through it today. Grateful to all of you. Grateful to Sung Won Cho for this opportunity. Grateful that we have this beautiful instrument and so grateful that you're here to hear it. Enjoy this wonderful program. This time I'd like to introduce and welcome back our former guest artist in residence and organist, please.
Good evening, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be back. Um, I'm Philip Walsh. I was the first guest artist in residence here, 1988 to 89. And uh, I actually came here uh, not only just playing the old organ, but the old organ console, which was a th small three manual instrument. Uh, so to see the evolution to this day is, is, is quite amazing. And I think I speak for us all because we all worked for alongside Gordon McMillan for so many years that he would have loved this instrument. Um, and um, before I hand over to the next uh, candidate, uh, I'd just like to point out that uh, the, the second guest artist in residence is unable, uh, not able to be here tonight, Nicholas White, but he is represented because uh, in the final hymn, you will hear his descant for that hymn. Next. Thank you, Phil, very much. Next on the conveyor belt. Um, I'm <laughs> Neil Chippington. I was here from 1990 to 91, and I just wanted to say what an honor and a privilege it is to be here. And I, too, am so grateful for the opportunity. There's a few of us here who don't play the organ very much now. You'll see in the program. <laughs> so to have faith in us to come back uh, and play this wonderful uh, new instrument uh, is fantastic, and I am so grateful. Thank you all for being here. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ian Wilson. Uh, I came here in 1991, seems a long time ago now, uh, as the fourth guest artist in residence, immediately after Neil Chippington, who failed, by the way, to tell me what I was letting myself in for. Um, <laughs> But it is, as Neil says, an enormous pleasure to be here. It's an enormous pleasure to be back in Lubbock. I've lost count of the number of times I've been back to Lubbock. It always feels like coming home. And it's a great honor. It's a, it's a privilege even to be allowed to touch this instrument. I'm, I'm surprised they're letting me do that, let alone play it. But it's been a great pleasure to play it in rehearsal, and it's a pleasure to play it this evening. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Betts, and I was guest artist in residence at this church from 1993 until 1994, during which year, by the way, I met and married Sunny, my wife up there, who was in the choir. Uh, we actually married and moved to England, but then I w we were back in 2001. I had the immense privilege of succeeding Gordon McMillan as director of music at this church and served here for an 11 further years before we moved up to Washington, D.C. And it is such a pleasure. We love this church, and it is such a pleasure to be back. Hello, I am Sigurd Ogard. Um, uh, after having met Chris and Sonny in England, they uh, tricked me into coming to Lubbock. So I was here. <laughs> I was here from 2002 until 2011, and um, I loved it, and I love being back, and it's wonderful to be here, and so exciting to play this amazing instrument. Congratulations. I should have also said, by the way, we have, uh, we have a couple of other uh, guest musicians who were not able to be with us this evening. Uh, and uh, I want to particularly commend Jeff Howard, uh, whose musical arrangements have appeared this morning and this afternoon. And then, uh, actually, I also want to commend Mark Mason, who is a much-loved member of this community as well, wasn't able to be with us this afternoon. So, uh, so let's think about them in our hearts as well. And now, Tim Brown. <laughs> and I'm an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not an organist, but I was responsible with Gordon for creating this artist uh, organ in residence scheme. And uh, I've been so excited to be par allowed to be part of it ever since. And uh, reunions from time to time have given me, given me an excuse to come back and be with the family that you all are. And we all come back for. There's something very remarkable about Lubbock, and we are just thrilled to be part of your celebration. And I know, and I particularly want to pay tribute to Sun Wan, that he's done such a fantastic job, and he's amazingly tolerant. He wasn't warned when he took this job that he'd have to put up with a lot of <laughs> visiting English people who <laughs> keep turning up. <laughs> so thank you very much. Please can we give him a round of applause? And also, huge thanks to the choir. 
who week by week get told one thing by Dr. Cho, and then we turn up and tell them to do quite different things. <laughs> and they smile all the way through. So thank you, choir, very, very much indeed. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this concert, and, and just may I add my congratulations to the church for acquiring such a fantastic instrument. We went to the Buddy Holly Hall yesterday, and that's world-class, and now just along the road, you have a world-class organ. Good luck. Thank you so much. Let us continue on with our uh, former pastor, here, um, Dr. Craig Curry, to celebrate our organ concert. Before we begin the moment of uh, dedication, I do think it's worth mentioning that uh, when I first came, we bundled several projects together, if you recall, and raised a good bit of money. One of those projects was the organ repair. We called it an organ repair in those days. And Chris Betts did the legwork and research for that. And his plan was supplanted several times during, during the process and it became an organ rebuild. But I just think it's important to know that as early as 2010, Chris was at work toward this end and that's to be commended uh, for his foresight for the need for that. And so, would you join with me in the litany of dedication? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we dedicate this organ. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. And praise him with psaltery and harp. To greater understanding of the message of the masters of music. To the lifting up of the great doxologies of the faith. To the language of praise which belongs both to earth and to heaven. We dedicate this organ. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To kindle the flame of devotion, that those who worship here may do so in spirit and in truth, to provide the melody of hymn and spiritual song, that people may be inspired to go forth from this place with high resolve to do his will, we dedicate this organ. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth in songs and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing in melody and hearts to the Lord. To the memory of those who in the, in the past have worshipped here, to the service of those of the present who seek to carry out the work of this church, and to the encouragement of those who shall come after us, we dedicate this organ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord of my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. To comfort the sorrowing, to strengthen the faint, to encourage the weak, to the uplifting of the souls of all who enter these hallowed doors and to the praise and glory of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we dedicate this organ. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God.
Bishop Nunn and Craig, and any of you, if you've ever been to a ball game, you know what walk-up music is as you're coming to the plate. As I saw the title of this, I thought maybe this is our new walk-up music every time we came for a sermon. <laughs> but if you have to follow that, you better bring it. <laughs> Strike three, you're out. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks, Bishop. Sweetheart, it looks like we're moving. <laughs> we come to celebrate this amazing instrument here in the Cathedral of the West. We come to celebrate all those who have helped to make this possible. The visions that have were taken that took birth <clears throat> not just a few decades ago, but the visions of a, a community of faith that would praise, honor, and worship God all their days, 130 years ago. While we do celebrate this amazing instrument, all the hard work, the dreams, and dedication that went into it, an instrument is simply an instrument for the production of music until it's dedicated to the use of the worship of God. And that takes place because of the hearts of those who wield it. So we're grateful to all the guest artists who are here. And I can tell you today that I am proud honored and privileged to serve alongside Dr. Sung Wong Cho and Bradley Vogel because I know that no matter what music is produced, it is always for the glory and worship of God to fill our hearts in ways that words cannot to go out into the world to share that message, the message of the gospel of all that we encounter. It's in that vein that Bishop Nunn and I offer this prayer and we invite you to follow along and respond in the bold. Let us pray. Eternal God, whom the generations have worshiped through the gift of music, accept our praise to you in the sound of this instrument, which we consecrate in your name and to your glory. May this instrument of music always be a means of inspiring thy people to sound forth thy praise. May the ministry of music in this thy house strengthen us more and more to look to thee, who art the source of all we hold dear in this world, and our hope of the world to come. Especially bless those whom thou hast charged with this ministry that they may, ne may ever seek to promote thy glory. Grant that its music may be a blessing to all who worship in this place, that they may be consecrated to you, whose sound has gone out through all the earth and whose words to the ends of the world. We present this Laterno Opus 135 and the Dr. Gordon McMillan Memorial Console to be consecrated to the glory of Almighty God and for the dedication concert of this congregation. Let our music be so joined to your holy word that your glory may surround us and empower us for the service to which you call us in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen.
Thank you. That's the end of first half. We'll take a quick break for seven minutes, and then we'll reconvene soon. Ladies and gentlemen, your seven minutes are up. Please do return to your seats, and we'll see if we can get the second half to be the same amazing standard that the first half was.
Thank you so very much for your presence here tonight's uh, organ dedication concert here. And uh, our final piece will be Vier Finale from Symphony No. 1 by Sigurd, Dr. Sigurd Ogard. Thank you again. Don't forget to attend our reception in the parlor. Thank you again. <laughs>